perlite is a two-phased, lamellar structure composed of alternating layers of ferrite and cementite that occurs in some steels and cast irons. In fact, the lamellar appearance is misleading since the individual lamellae within a colony are connected in three dimensions. A single colony is therefore an interpenetrating B-crystal of ferrite and cementite. In an iron-carbon alloy, during slow cooling perlite forms by a eutectoid reaction as austenite cools below 727 a degree Celsius. Perlite is a microstructure occurring in many common grades of steels. The eutectoid composition of austenite is approximately 0.76% carbon. Steel with less carbon content will contain a corresponding proportion of relatively pure ferrite crystallites that do not participate in the eutectoid reaction and cannot transform into perlite. Likewise steels with higher carbon contents will form cementite before reaching the eutectoid point. The proportion of ferrite and cementite forming above the eutectoid point can be calculated from the iron arona euro carbide equilibrium phase diagram using the lever rule. Steels with perlitic or near perlitic microstructure can be drawn into thin wires. Such wires, often bundled into ropes, are commercially used as piano wires, ropes for suspension bridges, and as steel cord for tire reinforcement. High degrees of wire drawing leads to perlitic wires with yield strengths of several gigapascals. It makes perlite one of the strongest structural bulk materials on Earth. Some hypertectoid perlitic steel wires, when cold wire drawn to true strains above 5, can even show a maximal tensile strength above 6 GPA. Although perlite is used in many engineering applications, the origin of its extreme strength is not well understood. It has been recently shown that cold wire drawing not only strengthens perlite by refining the lamellae structure, but also simultaneously causes partial chemical decomposition of cementite associated with an increased carbon content of the ferrite phase, and even a structural transition from crystalline to amorphous cementite. The deformation-induced decomposition and microstructural change of cementite is closely related to several other phenomena such as a strong redistribution of carbon and other alloy elements like C and Mn in both the cementite and the ferrite phase. A variation of the deformation accommodation at the phase interface is due to a change in the carbon concentration gradient at the interfaces. And mechanical alloying. Perlite was first identified by Henry Clifton Sorby and initially named sorbite, however the similarity of microstructure to nacre and especially the optical effect caused by the scale of the structure made the alternative name more popular. Bainite is a similar structure with lamellae much smaller than the wavelength of visible light and thus lacks this pearlescent appearance. It is prepared by more rapid cooling. Unlike perlite, whose formation involves the diffusion of all atoms, bainite grows by a displacive transformation mechanism. Eutectoid steel, eutectoid steel can in principle be transformed completely into perlite. Hypoeutectoid steels can also be completely perlitic if transformed at a temperature below the normal eutectoid. Perlite can be hard and strong but is not particularly tough. It can be wear resistant because of a strong lamellar network of ferrite and cementite. Examples of applications include cutting tools, high strength wires, knives, chisels, and nails. References Further reading Comprehensive information on perlite. Introduction to Physical Metallurgy by Sidney H. Avenair, 2nd edition, McGraw-Hill Publications. Steels, Processing, Structure, and Performance, Chapter 15 High Carbon Steels, Fully Perlitic Microstructures and Applications by George Krauss, 2005 edition, ASM International.